Hello everyone, welcome to HappyMath.com. So this time uh, we are talking about binomial probability. So please look at these questions. So you are taking a multiple choice quiz that consists of 10 questions. Each question has 5 different choices and only one answer is correct. You randomly guess the answer of each question. Find the probability of A. Exactly 5 questions correctly. B more than 4 questions correctly, C, and most 6 questions correctly. Okay, so, this time we need to organize uh, total number n, and then uh, case number x anyway. So, please look at this formula. So, binomial probability formula means px equal to ncx, p to the x power times q to the m minus x power basically. Okay, so the reason we are making um, combination uh, instead of permutation because um, this case we just find out for, so for example a case we want to find out just five cases correctly out of uh, ten question here. Okay, then it can be maybe so if I write it something for you then Correct. So maybe correct, 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 and incorrect, 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 incorrect. Take me one case. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I did one more. And maybe the other case. Correct, incorrect, correct, correct, incorrect, correct. Incorrect, 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 incorrect. You know, like this. So many different cases uh, consist of five questions correctly, but we only care out of ten questions, five are correct. So it can be first five or last five or for every other questions or every two questions or two consecutive and every uh, maybe two incorrect and then another two consecutive. So many different cases. Um, possible here. But anyway, we think about order doesn't matter, just find out how many are basically satisfy this condition. That's the reason we are using combination. So please remember that. Okay. So then now we are using the Excel and define the uh, binomial probability. So we need to set up total number n first. So n equal to 10 because of the, the total 10 question here. And now, so probability equal to, now, okay, nothing, uh, there's no percentage value shown here, but we know that out of five choices, only one answer is correct, right? That which means it's one over five. So equal to one over five, basically, which is 0.20. Now Q, Q representing counterpart probability, so there will be 1 minus P value. So, oh sorry, I didn't make equal sign. So 1 minus P value, so they equal 0 0.8. So uh, combining between uh, probability and the counterpart probability must be equal to 1. Okay, then now, so case X can be uh, not, no question correctly. Well, 1 is correctly, and then under 10, so I can make 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 basically, okay? And now probability value, so that will be binomial, so please make equal sign and binomial, so B, I, and O, then you see binom that distributes D, uh, DIST, so that means binomial distribution. So click that. And now, so okay, so because it block uh, where, I, where I want to select, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. I, I will come back anyway, so equal binom. Okay, click that. And then now number means this one, so click this, comma, trial. So total 10 years, so type 10, comma, Probability, so 0.2, comma, you must choose false because that's the true probability, so you have to find counterparts, which is false, and then enter, please, okay?
then now I can shrink again and now go back here and copy down onto 10 basically now we want to make sure that sum equal to 1 so I found total sum okay they equal to 1 so it is correct so okay then I can make maybe a little bit more digit okay then now we can find those uh, um, question now so a exactly five question correctly so I can make probability five question correctly which means basically here so I can select and enter okay and now next probability more than four question correctly so more than four then this can be so more than four means uh, five through ten so you can make sum and then open the parentheses and then five through ten basically and enter so then there will be the answer and then at most six probability at most six so that equal to so mo6 means from 0 to 6 here so sum of the parentheses and then we select 0 to 6 basically enter then that will be the answer for these questions okay so this time uh, we are asking uh, we are discussing the questions with a, with a percentage value not given but we can find it basically so the following example uh, will be maybe the probability is given basically okay so I'm gonna see you again with that kind of example alright thank you bye